the aim of this video is to give you the demonstration of how you can use Suite Alert in your Laravel application. So in case if you if you are not familiar with Suite Alert, then the Suite Alert is a very popular and useful suite, uh, JavaScript library that you can use into your uh, applications. So uh, here you can see uh, there are different examples of Suite Alert that you can use into your application. But to use this uh, Suite Alert into your Laravel application, you don't have to use this JavaScript library directly into your application because there is a separate package uh, for using the Suite Alert JavaScript library in your Laravel application. And the package is the Suite Alert by Real Russian. And I will give this package a uh, link into my video description. And I suggest you to follow this customizable guide link by Real Rashid. So let's go to this link. And here you can see uh, a very customizable and a very useful guide that how you can use uh, this suite alert into your Laravel application. So first of all, you have to install this package into your application. So let's go to the installation and let's copy this composer command and let's go to your code editor and open a new terminal and let's run this command into your terminal and this will install the suite alert package into your laravel application now after installing this package into your application here you can see there are more uh, some there are some several steps you can do but uh, if you are using bellow uh, then laravel 5.5 version then you have to follow these steps but if you are using level 5.5 or above then you don't have to um, uh, follow these steps so let's go to the configuration because I am using Laravel 9 now you need to include this suite alert into your blade file so let's copy this and let's go to the um, uh, blade file so I'm going to use this into our layout page so I, I suggest you to use this into your layout page so basically I have two layout pages because I use the uh, Breeze authentication systems. So the first one is the guest layout page and the second one is the app layout page. So let's include this also in the app layout page. Now let's save this. So I have a Laravel application uh, running in my browser and I just have implemented the login and registration system with Breeze authentication. So let's say I want to uh, uh, show a alert message, a sweet alert message, whenever a new user registered to the application. So let's open the controller. So I have a registered user controller for registering the new user. So here you can see this is the function where uh, the new user registered to the application. Now to use this sweet alert, first of all you need to uh, use the facade link of this package that is real reset facade link and then um, in the function where you want to use this alert you just uh, have to type alert <coughs> and then uh, double colon and the type of alert either you want to show a success me message or an error message or a warning message so let's say so I want to show a success message so let's write success method so let's use success method and in this method you have to pass two parameters so the first one is is for the title and the second one is for the uh, message so let's say I want to say registered successfully And then in the in the message I want to say welcome to your dashboard. Now, uh, whenever a new user registered to the application, he or she should uh, get the uh, alert message, a sweet alert message that welcome to the dashboard. So let's register a new fake user and let's register and here you can see we got our sweet alert message, a uh, beautiful sweet alert message. So uh, this is how you can use sweet alert in your Laravel application.
and and there are different types of alert message that you can use into your application you can find this into the suite alert guide so I hope this will help you that how you can use this <coughs> suite alert uh, package suite alert library um, into your application with the help of this suite alert package and if you got any problem any any uh, any question feel free to ask me in the comment box below